What up, y'all? Welcome back to the Artless Cube. Is there something I can do to get art? Is that, Do you guys know if this is happening to other people? <clears throat> I really want to do the legs I see stipulation, which was done, which was submitted by Mediocre Magic Man, where I have to draft cards that have legs I see. Um, but I can't. Because there's no goddamn art. <clears throat> can you guys let me know if other streamers have been having this problem with no art on the cards? If you click display, what does it show? Like show preview pane? Uh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. I guess we're just having to do this manually. This is the way to do it, I guess. Um. Okay, let's try the legs I see stipulation by Mediocre Man. Legs I see. Gotta take cards with legs in them. Actually, I'm gonna hold off on this, and here's the reason why. No lands are gonna have any legs whatsoever. So I wanna make sure I can get some legs, some some land, uh, some land, oh, now everything's up, okay. I wanna make sure I can get some lands in this stipulation. I wanna know if there's like some vetoes or if I can take lands. I wanna, I wanna iron out some details before I go do that. So this is gonna be a normal draft. So we're just drafting normally. I took two thin nail. Some elf, thank you so much, buddy. Welcome back, really appreciate you. Pot, thank you so much as well. Really appreciate you. <clears throat> I hear birds outside. Kabbalan, I did see it, and it seems a lot better, dude. I like it a lot more. Not that I like it a lot more, but it seems a lot more uh, feasible. So, let me... I'll try to get this in... Today or tomorrow, actually. That seems good. We can do that today or tomorrow. I'm gonna take Findhorn Elves, because we kind of have to, I guess, because it's gone Wednesday. God, the cube is never... Oh, my God. Oh my god. I guess it's just elves here. Oh, Bird of Paradise. Eternal Witness, huh? I think we're just going for Bird of Paradise, right? Tooth and Nail is where you want to be, so... Bird of Paradise is... I have not played with that Sarah in this cube, uh, but it has been played against me twice, I believe. It's pretty decent. I played it in modern. I played an actual a modern deck with it. <coughs> Don't ever let me go. <coughs> Thoughts on the bands? Or are we going to have to wait for Wednesday's article? Um, I think they're good. I think they're all good. My dudes. I think the standard bands are good. Sylvan carry added. This pack's good. Got a Teferi, got a Ilharg. Ilharg could be good Shut for up us. And take my money. If we want to go red green. Badger with a 187. A nice even 385, my dudes. 3-3 three, three in favor... 3 out of 3 bands. <clears throat> Plus 1. I. It's funny. That's actually hilarious. I should. I wish I used that in my post. I wish I was like, hey, I give these bands... These are 3 out of 3 good bands. And then you could have had 3-3, three, three, right? That would have been fun. Then we could have had a little... We could have had a little meme there. Uh, Worn Power Stone? Yeah, that's pretty good. Thrun's not super impressive, but Huntmaster could be good. Back when I was in college, I was in the beta testing design team for Massive Multiplayer Text Based Strategy Game, had a few thousand players, and I was the team lead for game balance.
when I first started the design team, I made some major mistakes. Yeah, Ed, that seems pretty normal. <clears throat> I'll just take the throne. Bayou or Hinterland Harbor? I'm going to go with the Bayou. We can search for it. <clears throat> Let's us play black. The Adventures of Bayou Billy. I remember that game. I remember Bayou Billy. This is a lot of land. Steam Vents, <clears throat> Plateau still, Inferno Titan. I'm going to take this Inferno Titan because we have Tooth and Nail. And that's just a big dude. Got a breeding pool now too? <clears throat> I don't know, man. No green cards? That's something. There's there's that Sarah again. None of these cards. Jeez, the green is drying up. But I guess there wasn't that much green initially. I don't even know. I have no idea what we're taking here. This is actually like pretty rough. <clears throat> I wish my throat wasn't so scratchy. Um, you know, maybe we're green-red. You know, maybe Throne just goes to the main deck. Yes. Alright, sure. This is actually alright. I'm okay with it. Emrakul. God, I want Primeval Titan, but with uh, Tooth and Nail. And Ilharg, I kind of just want this Emrakul, my dudes. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, hold on. Uh, Nissa seems fine. Course of Portal also seems really good, too. It is Gruul, my dudes. It's Gruul's Day, my dudes. I think it's actually course of portal. Like we have enough ramp, we want cards that draw us more things. Speaking of ramp. Hmm. Actually, guys, cradle. Let's just take the cradle. This is a cradle deck. Adam, what's going on, my dude? It has been a while. It has been a while, my dude. Oh, Rex Age and Renin Six. I don't see Renin Shut Six. Shut up and take my like money. <clears throat> oh, Badger with the nice E and four hundred bones, my dude. Thank you, my friend. Badger, it's always good seeing you for an extended period of time, my dude. I'm just taking Rex Age. I think Rex Age is too versatile. Too, just too versatile. I'm trying to change some settings in eBay right now. 
someone's like, I'm trying to buy one of your things, but I don't know how to do it. It's not letting me ship to Germany. And I'm like, but I have global shipping program on. Site preferences, shipping preferences. Uh, I like Night of Autumn, but I'm not going to take it. Yeah, but my Elder's probably fine, especially if we're trying to go get some red mana. Sammy, I have consistently gone 2 1 or 1 2 in this queue, so I can actually offer no advice right now. Exclude shipping locations. Shut That's up and not take on my money. Site. Unbelievable. Five, it's been too long, Bud Bucks. Adam, where have you been, buddy? Where have you been? Thank you for the support, my friend. Oh, sneak attack? Oh, yes! We're doing it. This deck, this deck has got some power in it. Oh, well, Team J-Bro, maybe if you weren't busy winning the friggin' cube challenge... Been going on dates, kissing girls. Well, that was yesterday. Mostly work. <laughs> you know, dates and girls and smooches. Things like that. You know how it goes. Uh, do I roast? Or do I sort of feast and famine here? Dinner's done cooking, so it's time to feed the kid. Wow, that's rude. I have to go feed my child instead of watching you stream. I don't know if all swords are traps. I think there's some good swords. Especially if you have a bunch of dirtle creatures that you can put it on easy. Like even a spell skype, my dude. Gideon Blackblade. Alright, well let's see what happens if I share the preview pin on this guy. This is what happens. <laughs> so... You know, nothing. I'm going to take Wooded Foothills here. <coughs> For obvious reasons. I really don't want Chromatic Lantern. If this was a Coalition Relic, I'd be down to clown. I'm going to take it anyway, because there's nothing else in this pack, so. Bloodbraid I like. I like everything, everything we can hit with Bloodbraid is pretty good so far. I was curious about your take on the Garrick and Legacy Cube. as a guy who plays a lot of Sultai. Uh, I actually like him a lot. I played with him several times. He was pretty good. He was pretty good, so I have good feels about him. And then it's funny because the time I did play with him, everyone in the chat was like, what do you think about this new one? And I'm like, I think it's real good, guys. And I had to say it like six different times. So you think it's good? I think so, man. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that seems fine. Shut up and take my money. Oh, big fan. You think that new Garrick is good in the queue? Big fan, I do. I do think so, big fan. Sure. Oh, here's a Carnage Tyrant. Here's a Garrick Huntsman. Here's a Worm Coil Engine. These are all pretty good.
Do you think they need Garrick to be the type of boyfriend you bring to meet your parents? Um, I'm not sure. I think Garrick might murder your parents. I don't really know his motivations in the current storyline. So, it's hard to say. I am going to snip this real quick. Okay. One. <clears throat> and... I have no idea what to take here. It might just be Farseek? No, it's gotta be a six drop, right? It's gotta be like Worm Coil. I don't know if I want Garrick because like black is not... Like, we have birds and Sylvan Carry added. We have like four black sources. Coil engine here. I bet the other one comes back. If we could get another uh, another Eldrazi, that'd be great. I do like this Lotus Cobra. I like Thran Dynamo too. Yeah, we're gonna Lotus Cobra here. Tropical Island? You don't really do much. Raging Ravine is pretty good, though. Raging Ravine is pretty good. Shut up and take my money! Dude, Nerdster, thank you so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. Oh, Badger, because $94 is a totally reasonable amount to just donate. Really, really appreciate how ridiculous you are sometimes. You are awesome, my dude. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Badger's like slowly ramping up to the big numbers. He's like, hey, bro. Oh, Slissa, thank you so much for the host. Really appreciate you. Really appreciate you. I'm going to take this Raging Green. I'm going to take... Oh, Rupon Craig? Uh, acidic Slime is too good, though. I'll take an Acidic Slime, my dudes. I'll, sometimes all you want to do is be sliming people. Whatever that means. Um, did I miss the discussion on original Garrett Kids call him the OG? I'm in my cube ban announcement this morning if anyone missed it. No change. <laughs> okay. I appreciate that. That is uh, that is good to know. I'm going to take this Garrick Apex Predator. Maybe I just play it? We got a, a Wooded Foothills and a Bayou. I don't think it's Stone Coil Serpent. I don't think it's Avacyn's Pilgrim. Yeah, I like a Beast Within. It's not Needle Spires. It's none of these blue cards. I guess it could be a blue card. It's not a blue card, right? Tempted to just finish the rent. Wow. I mean, don't feel any obligation to do so, my dude. I appreciate you, regardless of all that. You don't have to do all that. Uh, I think I just want Plow Under. Actually, we don't have a ton of early dudes. I'm going to take this Rampant Growth. I think Rampant Growth is a little... Oh, yeah, that's what we want. And a Through the Breach? Oh, that sucks. We really want the Willamog because we really only have, like, Emrakul and, like, these two guys. Yeah, we're going to take the Willamog. We already have Sneak Attack and Tooth and Nail. Dang it. And this looks like our 23 so far. I'm okay with it. I can, we can see I can see us replacing replacing Garrick if we get another uh <clears throat> like another relevant card. Shut up and take my money. I'm gonna shut up and take I have a confession. Big fan was me. Wow, that's messed up, dude. I feel like you exploited the fact that Shut up and take my money. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. 1.35 Badger Trigger Bug. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> I feel like I also don't often have the, the discipline to pass through the breach. I'm going to take this other black green Garrick. So how come this, this title is gray and this title is gold? Look, this is a gray Garrick and this is a gold Garrick. Gray border, gold border. Gray border, gold border. Fascinating. Truly fascinating. Oh, Thragtusk is a nice little hit there. 
I like a good Thrag Tusk. Thraggle Bottoms McGee. <coughs> okay, I'll take Cough of the Hammer, I guess. Shut up and take my money. It's gonna go well in my thing. Let's just keep up with the bothering badger. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Triggering badger makes it makes me very sad, but also at the same time, I think it's I, I it's all in good fun, so it it it's okay. I think. We take out the sword, and we took out the the spell skite for now. Just trying to finish this email. Take my money. 23. Am I doing this right? I think so. 142 seems good. What is the thing here for 17 versus 16 lands because of Cradle? Um, my only thinking is that like I don't think we have enough ramp to, to be 16. I don't know. This is this is, a, this is a lot, but it's like it's not a ton. Maybe we can play 17, 16 lands. We're adding one Swamp and perhaps... One mountain, just so we can search for them with uh, Yava, my elder. Do I need to open my thing? Watch this. Let's see. Show the preview pane. Add lands. Shut up and take my money. Oh god, they're not coming back. Five point one. Now I feel bad, bugs. <laughs> What's happening right now? Why aren't the land arts coming back? Shut up and oh, take my god. money. <clears throat> Okay, so Badger just donated 7510, but I think Kerwood's previous donation threw him off. So now <laughs> it's <all> broken. <laughs> oh dear god. Oh, I fucking can't, man. Alright, so one black, one of this, two of this. That's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, that's 17. <clears throat> Alright, so. With two Garricks. I don't know. I kind of just want to make sure we hit land drops. We also have Curse of Portal and Bloodbraid Elf for the sweet draws. I could see adding Chromatic Lantern cutting a land, but I kind of just want to make sure I hit my take lands, my money. right? Hodgman! This is an amount! <laughs> oh, John Hodgman watches the stream. That's pretty amazing. Shut up and take I used to my listen money. to John Hodgman podcast, that podcast, actually. What was the thing called? Does anyone know what the John Hodgman podcast is off the top of my head? Hold on, I think I got this. You guys are, you guys are killing it. You guys, you guys are making jokes, but all these small donations, I'll take them. Uh, Judge John Hodgman. That is one hundred percent what it is. Wow, I knew someone would know it. I agree with you about my chat. I think it's phenomenal, and it is one of my favorite parts of streaming. It is one of my absolute favorite parts of streaming is my chat. It is they are they're phenomenal. They're great people. They're wholesome human beings. It's a chat even Mike's father could love. And Mike's father doesn't love much. Including Mike. So next time we can go Raging Green Rampant Growth. What do we get? Do we get a... Do we just get a swamp, right? Because we have this Garrick. One, two, Rampant Growth. Shut up and take my money. 
Shut All right, up so next turn we can money. blood braid elf. Oh, Badger with the with the oh, you'll just you'll just do the thing you said you were gonna do, and now our rent is done. That's well, that's something. I guess we're on January. You are amazing, and uh, God damn it, I love you, buddy. I appreciate you. You are fucking wonderful, man. Thank you so much, Badger. Unreal. Fucking Shut unreal, up and take dude. my money. It's exactly the price. Oh. <laughs> Did you, what did that one say? An impossible offer with tax? Because that's pretty hilarious. <clears throat> with Utah sale, that's amazing. That's amazing. I think you just bought me a, a Whopper when I come visit you guys again. I kind of just want to play this Bloodbird Elf, so we're going we're gonna to hit a thing, so... Badger, 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 Badger. Badger, you're amazing, dude. Absolutely incredible. Oh, God. Unbelievable. Six oh one. Jeez. Our opponent's not really doing anything, right? Thank so, you. Oh, when's this? 12, 31, 20, 19. And this will be the last goal of the year, man. Thank you. Last goal of the year. Oh, Josh with the five gifted subs? My goodness, you guys are freaking amazing. Now I just need to get to 500 gifted subs. Thank you. I feel, like, I feel like my whole stream is just an achievement for, uh, for Badger to unlock. <clears throat> Thank you. Yes. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if this does anything cool. Thank you. Is this guy too big for his britches? He's got to go to the. Shut oh up my, my god! It's the price of two forty-seven good or service. I have no idea what that means. Are stips available? Yeah, I would one hundred percent do some stips. I like a good stip. You can also help me pay for pay for next month's rent. <laughs> so that's cool. <clears throat> well, they went for his throat. My stipulation play elves. Well, it just so happens. Badger, what format are we talking here? Do you want me to just draft all the elves in cube? Hold on one second, let me open a thing. Okay, I just have to make sure it's in the right place. I know you can sit at the comfort of your own home and get paid to play excellent like skew Harabia shorts. I was playing Terrell Paper Standard at eight. So if you wanted to do that instead, I actually don't because the ban and restricted list is not in effect yet. If it was in effect tonight, I could definitely be uh, convinced, maybe. Oh wow. I just get to double Garrick here. Oh, darling, Garrick's every day. Also, if these wolves die, both these Garrick's get counters, my dudes. <clears throat> my step was going to be play cube. Looks like I got that sweet free ride. Dang, that's messed up. Draft green black hydras with corpse jack menace. I think you could not do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord there's no corpse jack menace in this cube I mean even if they wipe the board here like I think we're still okay each of these Garrick's gets two more counters vomit absolute vomit Yeah, K Diddle, we have not done it yet, because I was like, wait, I wanna get I wanna get wanna make sure like I can draft lands when I need them. Because if I have to draft a card with legs in it, I wanna know that like I can make three picks, like three lands. Yeah, it's each Garrick. 
Uh, when this creature dies, put a loyalty counter on each Garrick you control. Yeah, then all my creatures would get plus 8, plus 8, and have trample... Yeah, that's pretty good. That's like super trample. Oh, no. oh, Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, guys, we couldn't hit a seventh land for this. Or a sixth land for this. So, uh... What is this? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Well, see what happens, I guess. Cryptic command? Here's a snip. You can only play lands. We'll make for good content. Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think that's true. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Ah, boy. Well, mistakes were made, I guess. Shut up and take my money! Oh, okay. Thick boy draft, draft the thickest thick boys. God damn, that's a thick boy. <laughs> so, oh. Damn, boy, he's thick! Boy, that's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Boy. You know, like you do. Like you do. Oh, dear God. In tomb at the end of my at the end of my turn. Okay. We could still be dead. You know what's thick? Texas toast. Mediocre Magic Man, that clip is from Anthony Fantano, who is a music critic on YouTube. Well, that's pretty bit. That's pretty pretty not bad. They don't have haste though. Most of them are tokens. Our guard gets two counters. All this is okay. We get to just eat that that crystal brand. There's nothing they can do but a Garrick on board with one blue slash black. Oh, darling. <clears throat> So they're at eight now. That's a thing. Okie dokie. <clears throat> I will use this ability, believe it or not. Let's get the other remaining landles. In a world of Jan Michael Vincents. When the night. I have no idea what the specifics are for this thick boy stip, Amphil. So hopefully, hopefully we can kind of just wing it and you'll be okay with that.
I think it is implied that you ate a grizzle brand that gave that Garrick hunted and ate the grizzle brand. I think that's the uh I think that's the loose interpretation, yeah. <clears throat> I gain life based on pizza's toughness. Just draft whatever you can see be the thickest thick boys. <laughs> okay. Can planeswalkers also be thick boys if they're like this guy or this guy? Because these seem pretty thick. <clears throat> Ten cards in hand, huh? Well, let's see what you can do. You guys hear these dogs outside? Alright, well. A thick planeswalker has starting limits at least five. What do you got? Emery, Phyrexian, Arena. Nothing great in your graveyard other than Gristlebrand. <clears throat> Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I play this guy? Probably not. You have four cards. Seven cards, four mana. And that's never resolving. Oh, they took a point. Force of Will, getting rid of Snappy Boy. Okay. If we hit a land, we can just go tooth and nail for you boys. I've almost got a preliminary deck list for you to play to critique and rip that apart. <laughs> just that. The Zimini Pot, I am eager to do it, my dude. I am eager to do it. Oh, it's old Rankle, Master of Prankles. How about them Okos? What Okos? What are you talking about? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess we're gonna try it, right? I mean, this is also we can play Rex Sage, kill this guy, and then try to get Thank in. You. One, two, eight, nine. I think it's just more important to try this and see. They didn't have a counter, so they had Force of Will last time. Let's see if they have anything. Oh, they do not. Huh. Okay. I'm just gonna pass here. Like us attacking with the beast, so they can block with this and get an extra card doesn't really do anything. Shut up and take my money. Cabal and sip funds plus a little extra for me. My daily entertainment at work. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, my dude. <clears throat> Bob the sheep. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Come on, I will. Uh, I will add this step to the queue so we can get it done. Damn nature, you scary. Almost drowned yesterday? That's no good. It's no bueno. Do you think Rally would be a solid deck in Pioneer? Um, it seems like it's okay. Ravenous Chupacabra. The fact that that kills Emrakul is pretty comical. <clears throat> now you just have an Ulamog to deal with. I 
I guess I'll just take six. I mean, they have a lot of... They can chump block. They can sack four lands. Like... How come how come these how come these two don't have art? Come on. Let's show this preview pane. Still nothing, huh? That's weird. Oh, discard a card? Sure. Sack a creature too? Alright, I'll sack this Fintorn Elves. <sighs> this is where they go reanimate Chupacabra, kill the beast, and then play Liliana of the Veil to make me sacrifice Ulamog. Oh, Gristlebrand. God damn! Well, they can't draw cards, so that's pretty cool. I guess they could. <laughs> I was not sure without being able to zoom on the panes too. Oh, that's true too. Yeah, as long as the uh, oh, the problem is like a lot of these tips you guys have suggested do require art. I think we just go play land, play throne. All right. Seems good. Four lands. And a chump block here, my friend. I guess if we didn't use the red, we could have also attacked with the Raging Ravine. Why not? I feel like we're ahead. I mean, if they languish, I guess we get to keep an Ulamog. Snapcaster's gone, so they can't go Snapcaster Cryptic Command bounce a Ulamog. This seems like a, a desperation here. I don't know if three mana is gonna do it. I guess they can't, they can Toxic Deluge for three. Yep, that's the end. Man, Eldrazi are, Eldrazi are fiends, dude. Sort of Feast and Famine could be good. Badger, I think they're I think the the bands for Pioneer are going to be a separate announcement, maybe. I, Iona in Iona's not terrible. I mean like if we had I mean the problem is she only works with tooth and nail, right? But I kinda like Sword of Feast and Famine here. Hmm. Cut Thrag Test, bring in Sword, bring in Spellskite just as a 41st. I think that's fine. 
I think that's okay. Ooh, this is nice. Turn one elf, turn two power stone. Keep. What are the odds they go turn one in tomb into animate dead? Hundred percent. Okay. Seems good. They might not have animate dead. They might just be getting Grisbrand out of the deck. They have Exhume. Yeah, I think we're dead. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. It's a hard fought battle, guys. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is that I don't think we have a second red to find. We just have wooded foothills here. So we can only get a forest with our wooded foothills. I guess we're just going to play Bloodbraid Elf here. Let's see what we hit. Yep, I was, was going to say it's going to be Lotus Cobra. So next turn, we can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So close to an Ulamog. No blocks. Zemini Pot, just email me. Frank at franklaport.com. No worries whatsoever, buddy. Send me an email right now. Right now. Also, hopefully it's some kind of new standard concoction, but also Pioneer and Modern are cool too. Sorry, that email address is already taken. Well, it's very likely that someone has the email address frank at franklaport.com. Like, that's just, it's just a common name, you know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. God. Turn two Gristlebrand is a real thing. Yep, that would have been good this turn. I guess they would have kept Gristlebrand and still killed us. Beast Within. Alright, let's try that. If they just don't do what they did, I think we're good. Thank you! Ghost of the Sun, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, yes. Keep. Snap keep. Don't try any of your bullshit this time, buddy.
But this time they're going to fatal push it, making our hand much worse. Because they haven't yet, so it's only a matter of time now. What? No? The bird leaves? What's better, goose or bird? Um, it's hard to say. They're both very, very good. Bird is pretty classic. Gilded Goose is putting up quite a quite a name, making quite a name for itself, though. <sighs> okay, sure. Send me a worm coil right now. Worm coil was a good draw. I would have also taken a red source. Oh man, that's messed up. But now they're living and is worse. Living death. Oh, bitter blossom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not ideal. Second red source would be pretty cool. You know, I'd even take a tooth and nail at this particular time. Yeah, Doom Blading Worm Coil, there's no way that feels good. Something good. Not ideal. I mean, these guys are getting the job done. We have eight mana. Goose dies in the movie, so ice is better. Dang. James, have a good night, buddy. Enjoy your standard. I hope you win. Yeah, I really don't like the... Them making a sacrifice creature while they have infinite fairies to sacrifice just seems like this gets worse and worse, so. Haju Alasha, you're not the only James in the chat, my god. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Jesus. Oh yeah, that's a good point. If they sack the fairy, then we would have actually been able to beast one of our lands and then attack them for a million. Yeah. That was a good point. If we block with bird, then they don't. Then they just still have a fairy as a blocker. So I don't think it's. Yep, that's pretty good. All right. Well. <sighs> Second blue. 
Second red. Tooth and nail. First red, okay. One, two, three, four. Lotus Cobra again. Okay, that's actually, now we're talking. I want to crack this now because I want to play a land this turn and next turn. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We also have ten mana, so we can just hard cast it with a log next turn. This is fine. I mean, actually, if we just put Inferno Titan to play somehow next turn, we just win the game, right? Because they die to their own Bitter Blossom. Rats are in there. Hodgkulashi, <laughs> that clip is insane. <laughs> oh, man. That's fantastic. I'm a fan. Uh, we do not have an Ewit in the deck, no. Uh, 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 okay. Buh. Huh. Shut up and take my money. New players don't know the difference between Oko and Tibble. Why you gotta do my devil boy dirty like that? What? I was just saying they're equal power level, so it's hard to tell the difference. Each player discards a card. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just gonna discard the forest. It's just worse than all these other cards. However, if they do have like living death, I guess we just get warm coil engine back then. Alright, that's fine. Okay, so they have to block both, so we're just going to make them do that, and then we'll just play whatever we have. Right now... Gristle be he'll burn your throat. Would you look at that? <sighs> You're at eleven, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, they're drawing seven here? Oh god. So they're just dead then. Oh, no, they're going to force a will. Oh, they didn't force a will. Oh, shit.
All right. That was pretty good. Four forty eight to twelve oh six, is that what we're looking at here? Yeah, I could see adding a mountain actually. Or just playing chromatic lantern. Actually, I kind of like Chromatic Lantern because of the two double red cards and you wanting double red for sneak attack. We can board Thrun in if we need him. More like Bromatic Lantern. Does that lantern even lift? Oh, God. I'm going to keep this hand. <laughs> if we happen to draw a green... It's really good. Emrakul if we draw sneak attack. Sure. So any land lets us cast lantern into bird. Any green land lets us cast... It's probably still going to be lantern into bird. Man, everyone is playing Bizarre Trade Mage, and it's very interesting. I don't really know how I feel about that. Going to be, it's always Lotus. Oh, yeah, but my Elder and Lotus Cobra have been like the two most popular hits here. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. That is a Shieldred. I'm not too concerned. We have a Garrick that we can make. We can either kill the Shieldred or make a bunch of tokens with it. All right, they're going to just mull drift here, which seems pretty good for us. Yeah, that seems okay. Good lord. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. I mean, if we had to play against two living end decks, I'd be very surprised. Well, that's sad, because now you get to kill Garrick. But I guess if that's the only thing you're doing this turn, it's not the worst. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana, huh? One, two. Would you like to use this ability? I think so. I think I just want to keep hitting land drops. And draw something good. We have not. So play line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 next turn. No incentive not to play this, I guess. Hmm. 
it's really annoying, but I guess that's fine. Yep. Okay. Tooth and nail. Or forest. Forest also pretty good. Wow, this is a that's a trade right there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana next turn. Tooth and nail would be good. You know, assuming they don't have a counter spell. Yep. I mean, I'll play it just so I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten next turn. Boy, I'll draws your expensive, right? Oh, I clicked on that. <laughs> I was like, wait, why is it asking me to discard a card? Oh. Zimini Pot, I got it, my dude. Oh boy. You play discards a card. Fascinating. Compulsive research. Why don't you just play that first? Huh. Because I'm keeping up cryptic command, you see. Another land, huh? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very close. Yep, you got it. What are the odds they have a counter spell, guys? Seems very high. So sad. Well, see you later. Yep, that's probably going to be the end. They animate did shield red. We have to sack this. I guess I mean, we get to we get a draw. We get a couple draws. Like being able to slam Emrakul here could win us the game. Oh yeah, we don't have two turns. Like, I mean, they're already going to get shouldered back, so. Mm -hmm. Top deck Tooth and Nail, or Sneak Attack. Primal Command.
All right, let's put non-creature on top. Well, Ilharg's not great because they're just going to recast Liliana because it's on the top and then make a sacrifice Ilharg. So that's not going to do it. Now they're presumably just going to recast Liliana make us discard Emrakul, but... I mean, Tooth and Nail is still alive even without the Emrakul. Uh, Ilkhar does not hit them with anything because they would make us discard it. So, no. Unfortunately not. Okay, I mean that's fine if they're going to down take Liliana. If only we didn't shuffle this Lotus Cobra back in. <laughs> oh boy. Good times. Yeah, Ilhar doesn't have haste. That is the uh that is the the big problem. <laughs> oh boy. Primal command and forest. So you can put this on top and then you're just basically guaranteed to win. Sure. Yep, that's pretty good. We would have drawn sneak attack. Yep, all right. Sword of Feast and Famine, Spell Skite, and Thurun. And Beast Within. Let's take out Thrag Tusk. I don't think we need the life. Rex Age is good. I can take out Inferno Titan. I just don't feel like we're shooting that many things. Ion is also not that great because the only way we can put it into play is with Tooth and Nail. Sneak attacking it doesn't do anything. Ilharg doesn't do anything, so it's not really it's 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 not great, guys. I'm gonna submit forty two because I'm an absolute fucking maniac. Let's mulligan that hand. Let's keep this hand. Let's send the Bayou back. Turn two Cobra into turn three. Well, either one of these. Are we ever going to appear on Friday nights again? Um, you got to ask them. I have no idea. It's not like I can just ask them and be like, hey guys, I'd like to be on your thing.
Yes. Green. I'm gonna buy you. Yes, again. Get another green. Get this guy. Kill this thing. Now we're playing Magic the Richard Garfield intended. Yes, green. Rampant growth. Get a red. Yes. Green. Bloodbraid Elf. Cascadia. This guy. This is a good use of mana. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Oh yeah, there you go. So you go to two? Seems legit. You're a good use of mana. Appreciate it, buddy. Oh, I guess I could just attack with that guy and killed them. Why attack with your raging arena and kill them when they don't when you don't have to? You wacky Heldrazis. Sometimes you just want to give your opponent another chance. Is that so crazy? You guys can hear those dogs? That's hilarious. Yep. I figured you return this guy to the hand. Yeah, I really hope at two life we don't regret that uh that forget to swing. Seems fine. Ah, keep it. It's slow, but it's got some stuff going on. The run and sword seem insanely good against them, so. How about a Sylvan carry added off the top? Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, how do you pronounce your name? Argon Argon Townick. Um, yes, you can do that. That's what I was. That's what I was going to do if they tapped my team, uh, because you have to tap them in the uh, beginning of combat step. Once you're in the declare attacker step, they can't tack them. Like you'd have to do it right here. We're beginning com beginning of combat. 
uh, once I'm here and I'm declaring my attackers, you can't tap my guys down anymore. So what happens is they tap your team down, and after that resolves, you activate the land. And then once you go to attack, you can declare it as an attacker. Oh, uh, I imagine you get to cast the card on any shell dock. That's what I would assume happens. As far as I know. Chant creature put onto the battlefield with necromancy. Can I redirect this? I actually don't know. I'm real tempted to try, though. So I 100% can't do this, right? Because I don't want to waste my time if I can. Spellskite's not a legal target, I don't think. I mean, not to say that this is, like, super scary anyway. But, I mean, they've gotten a, quite a few cards here, so... Yeah, I don't care about saving I don't care about saving the, the fetch for Cobra. I really just wanted to uh thin my deck because I feel like we're at a point where And there's no way to don't block this. Cobra's Mull Drifter's done his job, so Oh my god, they don't block this? Maybe they just have a Gristlebrand? No, they just have a land, okay. Well, that's a yikes for me. Oh, uh, we cracked so we could thin our deck. I just said that. I mean, if it gets to a point where we need one more extra mana and we have Lotus Cobra on board, like, I'm, that's fine. I'll deal with it. Oh, they're going to fall in Shinobi. I see. That's pretty good. Yep, that's that's pretty good. Well, fuck. Okay, that's not terrible. We can actually put the course of portal back on top. Oh, and we get to crack too. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, put our nomination for a creature, reveal it. Who are we going to get here? What do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six mana? Hmm.
Actually, acidic slime seems pretty decent. Or Blood Braid Elf. Or Worm Coil. Let's do Worm Coil. We're just tagging with this guy because if they do have a way to kill this, like a Fatal Push... Actually, they can't Fatal Push it, so... That's a thing, I guess. I mean, we still get two tokens here, right? It's actually not bad. All right, so we played two living index in a row, so that's a thing, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that's rough. Put it on the lifelinker. Fatal push. Put it on the death toucher, I guess. Murderous cut? Well, they have to do a pre-combat, otherwise they can't they can't target it. Because protection from black. Four, five, six. <laughs> oh, der. <laughs> sure. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, we're not entwining it, right? So I'm actually almost tempted to beast within this guy. Which turns their looting off and kills their Liliana this turn. One, two, three. You have a you have a thing. Cyclonic Rift, because of course you fucking do. That's amazing. <laughs> what a... Oh Lord. Well, this game just got significantly worse. But now it got better, I guess. Zimmypod, have a good afternoon, buddy. Thank you so much for the... Uh the critique in the queue. Um, destroy another planeswalker. Put you to six, which means... Yeah, we're just definitely going to have to destroy a creature. I mean, we lose the Garrick, but we get seven and get rid of Liliana, so... Or, uh, Shieldred, rather, so... Oh, they just have Volrath's fucking stronghold. That's insane. One, two, three, so we just get the... Yeah, that's pretty brutal. We top tick an acidic slime here? That would be cool. I guess they could also just get it back with Liliana and replay it. 
Nope, they decided not to do that. Alright, well. Yep, pretty sure we're dead. I don't know why you would do that instead of just getting it back with Liliana and... This is fascinating. They have no cards in hand. All right, let's see what this does. Oh, Katie, what's going on, my love? Oh, God, Maldrifter, why? Interesting. Are they getting something back here? Yeah, no blocks. For obvious reasons. Obvious reasons. Yep, Fallen Shinobi. Got a rampant growth in a land. Sounds good. I have no creatures to sacrifice. One, two, three, four. Get busy sneaking. Meh. What? How do we win the match here? They have to sacrifice ten things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, they only have one blocker, so we get through with... Oh, wow, that's insane. The Lotus Cobra actually wins, because otherwise they could block... No, wait, they could just block Emrakul. But they block Emrakul, they take 12, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You just sacrifice these 10. You still have this on board. You block Emrakul with the Maldrifter. They take 12. Yeah, they, they, we don't win that game. But I guess we do. Hey, man. Um, I think it's actually more fair because we did... Remember that time we missed to the attack with the Raging Ravine? Opponents use Emrakul. Alright, I'm gonna head out. I think they were like, well, you know what? You got an Emrakul and an Ulamog and a Lotus Cobra. I'll win this game, but I'm just gonna give it to you. Ugh. Faded, you're welcome to post them in the chat. Oh, this hand is hot trash. God, this hand is also bad. Oh, God. There's no way I can keep this, right? Comical. Well, they went to six. We can go to five on... Oh, okay, keep it. Send you and you back. Done.
That one is Frank's favorite colors. Oh man. Oh, I like a. Oh, I like four Thief of Sanity and two Scarab Gods. Oh, I like four Okos too. Oh, this deck looks nice. Eight hundred dollars in paper. Welcome to the Pioneer landscape. Oh, well then. I was going to play Lotus Cobra, but I think it's actually probably just better to play Carry Added here. Eh. Like, they're both going to only give us one mana without a fetch land. Okay. Oh, they didn't play a third land. All right, so this is the finals, is what you're telling me? Burning my feet, just walking around. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it's turn five. Go to the next game. All right, I'm bringing the Rex Sage. I'm bringing the Thrun. Take out the Primal Command. Bring in the Sword. Bring in the Spell Skite. It's just a. As just a sneaky 41st card. What is with these hands, man? I'll ship it. I'll keep it. I'll ship you. And we're done. Actually, that's fine. <laughs> I was like, maybe I should play Finhorn Elves there. Random question if you're up for it. Well, I don't know until you ask it. Pinkerton or Blue Album? Blue Album. I appreciate Pinkerton, but Blue Album has a, a special place in my heart. That is just... The Blue, the Blue Album is like 10 bangers in a row. Hmm. I kind of just want the Finhorn Elves here. Although it is the worst use of mana. Next turn we get to go Bloodbraid Elf, though, which is kind of cool. If we play this guy first, then we can Chromatic Lantern, but... You know, that's not the world we live in, guys. See, now I like this Bloodbraid Elf, because now we get to just truck right on in. Oh yeah, I'll cast that. I'll be getting a red source, my dudes. It is Red's Day, my dudes. Hit him. Hit him where the good lord split him. Mac and cheese or spaghetti? Those are going to be my choices as well, to be quite honest with you. Katie, I think you've had spaghetti more recently. Is that true? Where did the good lord... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. 
My vote is for spaghetti. To the surprise of no one. Somebody touch my spaghetti! Biggie or Pac? Oh, that's a good one too. I definitely think Tupac. Uh, sure. Get rid of Finhorn Elves. Come on, lands. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. That's a lot. MTG or Yu-Gi-Oh? 100% Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, Jesus. This guy. This friggin' nerd. Batman or Joker? Probably Batman. Sure. Now you're just being a jerk. Do you put your left sock or right side on? I put I put whatever sock I have. Actually, I think it's left sock. Yeah, I'm a left sock first kind of guy. Left socks connected to the thrombone. Snake bones connected to the chicken leg. And these are the things in the cube. Oh wow, we just get to eat that dude. That's pretty cool. Thanks, my dude. I overpaid, my dudes. Oreo or Chewy Chips Ahoy? Oh, neither. I, I, take, I actually take a big stand against... Uh... <laughs> He's a left sock guy. What does that mean? Yeah, all right, you got it. Mm. Yeah, I guess I could have killed Ashiok, but I mean, like, I'd rather get a Thrun on the board than, like, have them exile three more creatures. I don't think that's... Oh, they're going to wipe the board somehow? Fascinating. Oh, they're not going to wipe the board somehow. Even even more fascinating. Faded MTG, have a good afternoon, buddy. Now I'm really curious what you take a big stand. Okay, so I hardly ever buy. I rarely. Okay, so I'm definitely an Oreo fan, but I hardly ever buy like packaged cookies. You know what I mean? Oh, they're gonna they're gonna cryptic command tap my boys. All right, uh, I'll take three here. That seems pretty good. Oh, you're going to tap my boys. Oh my god, I didn't even use the two mana here? Come on. Really? I could have literally had an extra two to regenerate this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, why wouldn't you use this two mana? Alright, I'll use that instead. That's so stupid. Typically, I'll go to the bakery at the grocery store, and that's where I'll get the cookies. Well, that's pretty cool. That's cool that you would do that. Oh my god, Shrek. Oh my god. How many people do you think Shrek is 
at least ten thousand. How many people do you think Shrek is? <laughs> Shrek was a murderer, man. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're not there yet. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'd rather just keep Regeneration Man up, to be quite honest. Yep, that's fine. Get rid of your champion of shits. I'll get my... Oh, fucking cry. Are you serious? This is some bullshit. This is some... Is this the same game they were stuck on two mana for like 30 turns? Or are we up a game? I can't even tell anymore. No, that was the game we... Yep. I'm having a good time. Well, I feel like this game is spiraled out of control. I don't think we actually have a way to get rid of Dragonlord Silumgar here. <gasps> On the bright side, we do get to draw a couple cards. Dear Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, see you later. What is this? Five, six, seven, eight flying? Nine? Yeah, all right. Beast within seems OP. Rex Sage. Also also juicy. See like Throne is good there, but it's not great. I don't know, it just doesn't do what I want it to do. Get rid of this Yavamai Elder. Oh Jesus. These hands are so bad like this. You know what? I'll keep this because I believe in the power of Magic the Gathering. I mean, Sneak would put Emrakul into play and they would have to sacrifice a bunch of permanents and then, you know... have to either block with Emrakul or uh, Niv-Mizzet or Dragonlord Silumgar, which would give us things to do. Yep, totally fair. Land. Cool. And this is why we can't trophy, guys. This is why we can't fucking trophy. I 
screen. <laughs> oh, cause fuck me, right? Cause fuck me. Good times. Good times. Absolutely just fantastic times. Alright, well we got a got a blood braid elf here. so dumb. I'm still going to cast it. It's still good for uh it's still good for cradle, so. And it's yeah, I mean it's like 1 2 3 4 5 mana now, so. I'm really tempted to just block, but I also want five mana next turn, so I'm gonna take four here. I roll. <sighs> Seems good. Always seems good. Apparently the steal your shit dot deck is pretty good against the mono green deck because you can't do anything about anything. <laughs> An absolute fucking joke. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is hilarious because if they didn't have that, we could actually play Tooth and Nail and just put these two into play. But now we have like Thrag Tusk that doesn't do anything. We can go to f we'll go to eight. We're gonna take five in the air, six, seven. We block here. We take we block here. We take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Literally one fucking mana short. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on patreon.com slash franklapore. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore. Both of those are great ways to support the channel. Uh, yeah. I have a new article at Cool Stuff every Wednesday. You can check out manatraders.com. They have an awesome subscription service. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>